Mississippi State lines up to kick this one off and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gators have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And a quick throw. Tackle around the 35-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quick pass. And they make the stop at the 50. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back. And the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. the 50. It's second down. Makes it to the 41. Third down. He scrambled. He's at the 30, brought down at the 24. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Set. Up the middle. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Ready. Three up. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nice run there. And he didn't get enough for the first. You now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Florida could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Get to that quickly. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 47. the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From midfield. Second down. Nice run and he's brought down. And he's tackled at 
about the 25-yard line. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Looks middle, got his back. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for us. Third down conversions and red zone offense. And right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third down. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. Breaks a tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-3. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Bring him down around the 23-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 21. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Slings it, steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Right down to the 38-yard line. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Mississippi State is up by four. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 37. it out to about the 20. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 18-yard line. That's good for the two yards. That makes it second and eight. Stingray! 
He might have a chance. What a play, and that is first and goal. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, a quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Fires out to his wideout. Very interesting first quarter. 14-3, Bulldogs. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Watch 41, watch 41. Hey, Mike Smith. Set, red 18. Hot, red 18. He fights forward to about the 29. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 29. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 44. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Now he's going to run and watch out. About nine yards there for the quarterback. Third down again. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Let's go. Wide 80. Nice run up the middle. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Here we go. Green and black. Gets out to around the 32. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. 50's the mic. 50's the mic. Here we go. Green 88. Green. Check, check. Motion, motion. 200. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, that time the defense did a really good job of bringing pressure. They brought the blitz and really it freed up the defensive line to eventually put pressure on the quarterback. 
Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 25 yard line. Gets to about the 24 yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 50. Mike is the 50. Check Mike 50. Here we go. Almost intercepted there. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up and it's long enough. And he got it. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Mississippi State up by eight. at midfield. He's at the 40. He's finally tackled at the 33-yard line. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. Now he's flushed and they got it. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Third down and they need to get it to the 23. Mike 12. Mike 12. He gets rid of this one. Mississippi State is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. It's a good job by the defense to remain aggressive and minimize the yardage on that run. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. From their own 40-yard line, first down. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Boy, this is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. 
I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh my God, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football for that first down. That's big time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That brings us to the Scrambling around. Tackle made at about the 31. Thunder! Thunder! That makes it first and 10. He's hit and taken down. First down. Set! Green 19! Green 19! He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. Finds the man. Touchdown. Nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he converts the extra point. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Mississippi State is up four. Makes it to the 37. So we've played two quarters. The Bulldogs lead 17-13. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Two down, two down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Five wide. Ready, wide 80. Throws complete, he's got space to work. And he hits him hard at the 35. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass, and he's tackled the 42-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. The 48-yard line. 
Mississippi State holds a four-point lead. him out at the 20 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver and down he goes at the 10. Pushed out of bounds at about the five yard line. Steps out of bounds at the two yard line. Bring him down around the one yard line. That makes us third and goal. Mississippi State is up by four. Touchdown, Mississippi State. He tacks on the extra point. It was a 13 play, 77 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 24 13. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Set, 180. Throws in the middle. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. Called the gain of nine yards. First down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Ready. Green 88. Green 88. Motion. Motion. Misdirection handoff. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second and five. Ball on their own 44. Ready. Fires to the wide out. First down. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings us second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 44. Mike 50, Mike 50. Ready. Green 88. 
Fires across the middle. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 29 yard line, second down. Ready! Green 90! Throws complete, he's got room to work. Very good tackle in space. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Number 37 brings us down. Tenth play of the drive. That brings us second and nine. Just throws this one away. From the 21 yard line, it's third down. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. The Bulldogs in front by 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He gets to about the five. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Roger, Roger! 50 is the mic. 50 is the mic. Not today, you are. Not today. Ready! Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Here's play number 14 of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Now he's scrambling, and he's in for two. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. He goes out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Throw. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll, That'll make, make it fourth and two. two. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 32 yard line. 
This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Throws to the right to his fullback, and he's hit immediately. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled in the open field. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll be like 36. hit immediately. Just under three to go in regulation. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. He's out to the 30, and he holds that one in. And he's taken down at about the 35. Nice run up the middle. As, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Gators have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 31. Brings him down. Gain of 11, 11 yards. yards. Watch the safety creep. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. ten. Just Stop. over a minute in the fourth quarter. He steps out at the 41. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Four down, four down. Let's go, Mike 50. Mike 50. Right. White 80. White 80. Tackled for a loss. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Well, a lot of frustration.
frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Taken down in the backfield. The spike will stop the clock. It's the ninth play of the drive. Under a minute left. And he's tackled right away. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the four. He's on the run. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. The Gators sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Would be surprised if they just squib it here. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. And tackled for a loss. Mississippi State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second and 14. Ball on their own 21. Let's go. 180. He's scrambling. Runs with it. And he's got room. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Going long. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Florida's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.